An amazing change for a St. Louis mother of six, once living in a taxpayer subsidized house with a horrific insect infestation. It is a case that you paid for a team took all the way to Washington, D.C. Now the mom and her children have a new place to call home. Investigator Elliot Davis shows us in tonight's You Paid For It. Latoya Dixon's new home on California Street in South St. Louis is not that far from the old horrendous place she lived in. Our investigation pushed to get her moved out of the former house, which was overrun by colonies of insects, an apartment that cost taxpayers plenty. How are things now? Perfect, great, wonderful, all in one. <laughs> What's the biggest difference for you? Um, we had, we had peace. We were able to do like take baths, eat everything without disturbance from bugs. Because of the infestation, she had to leave everything behind, furniture, clothing, everything. But after my report, a Christian charity, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, stepped in to provide her with furniture, including beds for her six children, clothing, bedding, and everything else the family needed to furnish the whole house. So they were able to provide her with food and with vouchers for our thrift stores so she could get beds and furniture and clothes for her kids. It's extremely rewarding to know you can make a difference in someone's life. They is a blessing. They, they is a blessing. Like, everybody was perfect. Like, they helped me a lot. Latoya first called me after being in the old bug-infested house on Missouri Avenue in South St. Louis for months. I was astonished by what I saw. Colonies of bugs on the walls. Bugs running across the floor. Several government agencies even knew she was staying in this situation, including the St. Louis Housing Authority that was paying the $1,200 a month rent. But when the Housing Authority Executive Director was moving too slow for my taste, I called HUD in Washington that got back to me right away, saying they would get answers and take action. Not long after that, Latoya and her six kids were moved out of the house overrun by insects. So now Latoya and her family with a lot to smile about. But this is one ordeal the family will never forget. Um, the Housing Authority, I know they, they're going to be a little more careful about, you know, inspections and stuff like that. I, I'm pretty sure of that, you know, because I, I, you put your foot down on them. <laughs> and uh, it, it worked. It did. Like, you can sleep at night. I can sleep And peacefully. you don't have to deal with the bugs. Not as at all. As you don't have nightmares about those bugs. I, know, I do. <laughs> I do. I'm not going to lie. I do. This time we're able to help Latoria Dixon and her family. But keep in mind, we're here for you as well. So if you spot questionable government spending, just go to our website, foxdonow.com, where you can Leave your tips and tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.